Hey guys, welcome to Better English Listening. Now, you will hear everyday conversations happening in various situations and settings. This will help you expand your vocabulary and become better at understanding and speaking English. So, let's begin. Likes and dislikes. Hey, I heard you went to that new Italian restaurant downtown. How was it? Oh, it was amazing. I absolutely loved the food and the cozy ambience. That's great to hear. I've been meaning to try it myself. You definitely should. The pasta was so flavorful, and the service was top notch. I'm sold. I'm a huge fan of Italian cuisine. Then you'll definitely enjoy it. Speaking of favorites, what kind of music do you like? I'm into rock and alternative. The energy and the melodies really appeal to me. Nice. I'm more of a jazz and blues person. The smoothness of those genres relaxes me. That's an interesting contrast. It's amazing how music can resonate with people in different ways. Absolutely. It's like a personal connection to emotions and memories. True. On a completely different note, what's your take on outdoor activities? I'm all about them. Hiking, camping, you name it. I love being in nature. That's awesome. I'm more of a bookworm, to be honest. I enjoy quiet evenings with a good novel. That sounds equally appealing. It's all about finding what brings you joy. Absolutely. And I've heard you're not a fan of spicy food. Is that right? You got it. My taste buds just can't handle the heat. How about you? I actually enjoy a little kick in my meals. Spices add a whole new dimension to the flavor. That's brave. I wish I could handle it, but I'd be reaching for the water glass constantly. Oh, I get it. It's all about finding the right balance for your taste buds. Exactly. And that applies to so many aspects of life, doesn't it? It really does. Our preferences make us unique and add variety to the world. Well said. It's always interesting to learn about what others enjoy and why. Agreed. Thanks for sharing your likes and dislikes. It's been a fun conversation. Likewise. Let's do this again sometime and explore more about each other's worlds. Definitely. Take care and have a great day. Certainty and Uncertainty Have you heard about the upcoming company restructuring? Yeah, I've heard some rumors about it. But nothing's confirmed yet. It's been the talk around the office, and everyone seems pretty anxious. I can understand why. Changes like these can bring uncertainty. Exactly. Some are worried about their positions, while others are hoping for new opportunities. It's tough when you're unsure about what the future holds. Definitely. On a different note, have you decided on your vacation plans? I'm still in the process of figuring that out. I'm torn between a beach getaway and a city exploration. I know the feeling. It's hard to make a decision when you're unsure of what you want more. Exactly. Plus, I'm also waiting to see how work pans out before committing to any dates. It's tough to plan when there's uncertainty in other areas of life. True, but sometimes embracing uncertainty can lead to unexpected and exciting experiences. That's a positive way to look at it. It's all about finding a balance, I guess. Absolutely. Life is full of twists and turns, and we learn to navigate them as we go. Well, I hope things become clear on both fronts, the restructuring and your vacation plans. Thanks. And who knows? Maybe things will work out better than we expect. Here's to embracing uncertainty and hoping for the best. Cheers to that.
It's what keeps life interesting, after all. Agreed. Take care, and let's catch up soon. Making complaints. Hey, can I talk to you about something that's been bothering me? Of course, I'm here to listen. What's on your mind? Well, I've noticed that the noise level in our apartment building has been really excessive lately. I understand how frustrating that can be. Is it coming from a specific source? It seems to be coming from the apartment next door. There's loud music and conversations late into the night. That's definitely not ideal. Have you tried talking to your neighbors about it? I haven't yet. I wanted to see if it would improve on its own, but it's been ongoing. It might be a good idea to have a polite conversation with them and express how their noise is affecting you. You're right. I just don't want to create any conflicts. Communication is key, and most people are reasonable once they understand the impact they're having. I'll give it a try. On another note, the office printer has been malfunctioning for weeks. I've noticed that too. It's frustrating when we need important documents printed. I think it's high time we report it to the IT department so they can fix it. Agreed. It's affecting our productivity, and they need to be aware of the issue. I'll send an email today to get it resolved. Thanks for bringing it up. No problem. We all need to ensure a conducive work environment. Definitely. Thanks for listening and offering solutions. It means a lot. Anytime. We're all in this together. Let's work towards resolving these concerns. I appreciate your support. Let's hope for positive changes. Have a good day. You too. Take care and keep me updated on how things go. Will do. Goodbye for now. Goodbye. Gap. Have you been following the discussions about the growing wealth gap? It's really concerning. Absolutely. It's a major issue. The disparities between the rich and the rest of us seem to be widening every year. It's disheartening to think about how some people have unimaginable wealth while others struggle to make ends meet. And it's not just about individual income. The systemic factors that contribute to this gap, like unequal access to education and opportunities, are deeply troubling. Right. Education is supposed to be a way to level the playing field. But quality education often comes with a hefty price tag making it inaccessible for many. Plus, the cost of healthcare and housing is skyrocketing, making it even harder for lower-income families to get ahead. I've heard about initiatives to address this issue, like raising the minimum wage and implementing more progressive taxation. But will it be enough? It's a step in the right direction, but it's a complex problem that requires multifaceted solutions. Policies that promote economic mobility and reduce income inequality need to be a priority. Agreed. It's not just about economic fairness, but also about creating a more stable and cohesive society. Hopefully, with continued awareness and advocacy, we can push for changes that make a real difference and bridge the wealth gap over time. Parking fee. Can you believe how much they charge for parking in this city? I know, it's ridiculous. How much did you have to pay? I parked in the garage for a few hours and it cost me $20. Wow, that's deep. Did you try looking for street parking? I did, but there wasn't anything available nearby. Yeah, 
finding a spot on the street can be tough sometimes. Have you thought about using a parking app? What's that? It's an app that lets you reserve a parking spot in advance. Some of them even offer discounted rates. That sounds like a good idea. Do you have any recommendations? I've used Spothero and Parkwiz before and had good experiences with both. You can search for available spots in the area and compare prices. Thanks. I'll definitely check those out. I can't keep spending so much money on parking. I hear you. It can really add up over time. Hopefully one of those apps can help you save some cash. I hope so too. Thanks for the tip. Domestic expenses. We need to talk about our domestic expenses. I feel like we're spending too much money each month. I was just thinking the same thing. What do you suggest we do? Well, I think we should make a budget and try to stick to it as closely as possible. We should also track our expenses and see where we can cut back. That's a good idea. I think we can definitely save some money by being more mindful of our spending habits. Yeah, we can start by cutting back on eating out so much. We can cook more meals at home and save money on groceries. That's true. And we can also try to reduce our electricity and water bills by being more conscious of our usage. Exactly. And we should also look into cancelling any unnecessary subscriptions or memberships. I agree. Let's sit down together and make a plan for our budget and expenses. Great. Let's do it this weekend. I think it'll be really helpful for us to get on track with our finances. Sounds good to me. Thanks for bringing this up. Bed amenities. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something that can. Hey, have you checked out the bed amenities in this hotel? It's supposed to be pretty luxurious. Oh, really? What does it include? Well, the beds are super comfortable with memory foam mattresses. You won't believe how well I slept last night. That sounds fantastic. What about the pillows and blankets? The pillows are customizable, so you can choose the firmness you prefer. And the blankets are made of this incredibly soft and cozy material. Wow, that's impressive. Anything else? Yes, they also offer a turndown service where they fluff up the pillows and put a little chocolate on the nightstand. It's such a nice touch. I'm sold. I can't wait to get a good night's sleep in this hotel. Thanks for the recommendation. You're welcome. Enjoy your stay and the fabulous bed amenities. Hey, could you give me a hand with collecting these items? Of course. I'm happy to help. What are we collecting? We're gathering supplies for the charity drive. Can goods, clothes, and blankets. That's wonderful. Count me in to assist with the cause. Thanks. It's heartwarming to see the community come together like this. Absolutely. Giving back is so important. Where should we start? Let's begin with the canned goods section. We need to make sure they're not expired. Got it. I'll double check the dates. Meanwhile, I'll start sorting the clothes and blankets. We'll make a great team. Definitely. It feels great to be part of something meaningful. Your support means a lot. Together, we'll make a difference in many lives. I couldn't agree more. Let's make this collection a huge success. Check out.
Hey, it's time to check out. Did you find everything you were looking for? Yes, thank you. I managed to get everything on my shopping list. That's great to hear. Did you also find the book you were searching for? Unfortunately, no luck with that one. I'll probably have to order it online. Bummer? Well, at least you got the other items. Let's head to the checkout counter. Agreed. Oh, wait. I almost forgot to use my discount coupon. Let me grab it from my bag. Don't worry, take your time. I'll start unloading the items on the conveyor belt. Here it is. Phew. Glad I didn't miss that chance. To the reception desk. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me. Hello. Did you find everything you needed today? Yes, thank you. All set. Fantastic. Your total comes to $45.62. Here's my coupon too. Hope it applies to some of the items. Let's see. Great. You saved $7.50 with the coupon. Your total is now $38.12. Nice one. Here's my payment. And here's mine. Thanks for reminding me about the coupon. You're welcome. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. You too. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Arriving at the room. Wow, this room looks amazing. The decorations are so elegant. I know, right? The attention to detail is impressive. I love the soft lighting too. It creates a cozy atmosphere. It's perfect for the event we're hosting tonight. I'm glad we chose this venue. Me too. Our guests will definitely be impressed. Oh, and look at that stunning view from the windows. Absolutely breathtaking. This room was definitely a hidden gem. I'm sure everyone will be talking about it for weeks. And the setup seems ideal for networking too. People will easily mingle and enjoy themselves. Agreed. It's crucial for our guests to feel comfortable and engaged throughout the evening. Well, we better do a final check on everything before they arrive. We want this event to be unforgettable. Absolutely. Let's make sure everything is in place. Tonight is going to be fantastic. Delivering to the wrong room. Room 302, right? We've got a delivery. Yes, that's correct. Great. Here's your package. Thank you, but I think there's been a mistake. I didn't order anything. This address and room number match. The delivery slip. Are you sure it's not for you? Positive. My name is John, but the package is addressed to someone named Sarah. Oh no, it seems like we've delivered it to the wrong room. My apologies for the mix-up. No problem. These things happen. I hope you can find the right room and get it to Sarah. Absolutely. We'll sort it out right away. Sorry again for any inconvenience caused. No worries. Good luck with the correct delivery. So, what do you want to focus on today? 
I'm struggling with fractions in math. Can we work on that? Of course. Do you have any specific topics you want to review? Multiplying and dividing fractions is really confusing for me. Okay, let's start with multiplying fractions. Do you know the rule for that? I think you multiply the numerators and the denominators separately, right? That's correct. Let's try a few examples together to make sure you understand it. They work on multiplying fractions together. Great job! You're getting the hang of it. Now, let's move on to dividing fractions. This one is even harder for me. It can be tricky, but let's break it down step by step. Do you remember how to flip the second fraction and multiply? Yes, I remember that part. They work on dividing fractions together. Excellent work! You've improved a lot since we started working together. Thank you. I feel a lot more confident now. You should be proud of yourself. Remember, practice makes perfect. Keep working on these concepts, and you'll be a fraction master in no time. I will. Thanks for your help. I really appreciate it. Time for a bed. Never stop. Forget it if I want it. Gotta make to myself a promise. I won't quit. Hey, it's getting late. I think it's time to go to bed. Already? I'm not even that tired yet. I know, but we have to wake up early tomorrow for work. I guess you're right. Do you want to watch an episode of our show before we go to bed, though? I don't think we have time for that. We should try to get as much sleep as we can. Yeah, you're probably right. I'll just read a book for a bit before I go to sleep. Then. That sounds like a good idea. I'm just going to brush my teeth and get ready for bed. All right, I'll be there in a few minutes. Ten minutes later. Hey, are you almost done? Yeah, just a few more pages left in this chapter. Okay, well, try not to stay up too late. We don't want to be exhausted tomorrow. I won't. I promise. Good night. Good night. Domestic expenses. We need to talk about our domestic expenses. I feel like we're spending too much money each month. I was just thinking the same thing. What do you suggest we do? Well, I think we should make a budget and try to stick to it as closely as possible. We should also track our expenses and see where we can cut back. That's a good idea. I think we can definitely save some money by being more mindful of our spending habits. Yeah, we can start by cutting back on eating out so much. We can cook more meals at home and save money on groceries. That's true, and we can also try to reduce our electricity and water bills by being more conscious of our usage. Exactly, and we should also look into canceling any unnecessary subscriptions or memberships. I agree. Let's sit down together and make a plan for our budget and expenses. Great. Let's do it this weekend. I think it'll be really helpful for us to get on track with our finances. Sounds good to me. Thanks for bringing this up. Family pet. I've been thinking about getting a family pet. What do you think? I think it could be a great idea. What kind of pet were you thinking? I was thinking about getting a dog. They're great companions and good with kids. I see. Do you have a particular breed in mind? Yes, I've been researching different breeds, and I think a golden retriever would be a good fit for our family. Golden retrievers are great dogs. 
They're friendly, loyal, and easy to train. That's what I've heard. But we should also consider the responsibilities that come with owning a pet. It's a big commitment. I agree. We need to make sure we have the time and resources to properly care for a pet. We'll need to buy food, toys, and supplies, and make sure the dog gets enough exercise and attention. Right. We'll also need to train the dog and take it to the vet regularly for checkups and vaccinations. Definitely. But if we're ready to take on those responsibilities, I think a golden retriever would make a great addition to our family. I'm glad you think so too. Let's start looking for a reputable breeder or rescue organization, and start preparing for our new family member. Turning. Hey, I'm going to run to the store really quick. Do you need anything? No, I'm good. Thanks for asking, though. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes. Twenty minutes later. Hey, I'm back. Did you need me to pick up anything while I was out? No, I'm still good. Thanks for asking, though. Did you find everything you needed at the store? Yeah, I was able to get everything on my list pretty quickly. It wasn't too busy, which was nice. That's good. Did you have any trouble finding what you needed? Not really. Everything was pretty easy to find. Although I did see some things that weren't on my list and ended up buying a few extra items. Ha! <laughs> I know how that goes. What did you end up getting? Just some snacks and drinks for later. Nothing too exciting. All right. Cool. Well, I'm glad you made it back safely. Thanks. Me too. Dinner time. Hey, dinner's ready. Are you hungry? Yeah, I am. What did you make? I made some chicken and rice with a side salad. I hope you like it. Sounds great. Thanks for making dinner tonight. No problem. Let's sit down and eat. They sit down and start eating. This is really good. Did you use a recipe? Yeah. I found it online. It was pretty easy to make. Well, you did a great job. This chicken is really tender and flavorful. Thanks. I'm glad you like it. How was your day today? It was pretty busy, but good overall. How about yours? It was all right. Nothing too exciting happened. Just did some work and ran some errands. Yeah, I know how that goes. Do you have any plans for the rest of the week? Not really. Just trying to get some work done and maybe catch up on some shows. How about you? Same here. Just trying to stay productive and maybe get some exercise in. Sounds like a plan. Well, let's finish up dinner and maybe watch something together later. Sounds good to me. Thanks again for dinner. Cleaning. Hey, do you want to help me clean the house today? Yeah, sure. What do you want me to do? Can you vacuum the living room while I clean the bathroom? No problem. Should I move the furniture out of the way? Yeah, that would be great. Thanks. They start cleaning. This bathroom is a mess. I really need to stay on top of it more. It's not that bad. Just a little bit of scrubbing, and it'll be good as new. 
You're right. Thanks for the encouragement. No problem. How's the living room looking? It's looking much better. I just need to dust the furniture and then we're done. Awesome. I'll finish up here and then help you with the dusting. They finished cleaning. Wow, the house looks so much better now. Thanks for your help. No problem. It's always nice to have a clean house. Agreed. Maybe we can make a cleaning schedule so we can stay on top of it more. That's a great idea. We can divide up the tasks and make sure everything gets done on a regular basis. Perfect. Let's get started on that tomorrow. Watching TV. My, my, is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. What do you want to watch tonight? I don't know. What do we have recorded? Let's see. We have the latest episode of that new drama we started watching. Yeah, that sounds good. I've been wanting to see what happens next. They start watching the show. I can't believe what just happened. That was so unexpected. I know, right? This show always keeps me on my toes. I love the lead actor. He's so talented. Yeah, he's really good. And the supporting cast is great too. Do you want to pause it for a bit and make some popcorn? Sure, that sounds like a good idea. They pause the show and make popcorn. Do you think they'll renew this show for another season? I hope so. I'm really invested in the characters and the storyline. Same here. It would be a shame if they ended it too soon. They finished the show. Wow, what an ending. I can't wait for next week's episode. Me too. I'm already counting down the days.